add. So like I said, we're going to a party. This is what we bought. This is a storage box. This is what we bought for the child. And this is the, this is the gift bag. So I'm just gonna pop this in here. I want to show you what I bought from Fix. I bought this. That's what I have right now. I don't even know how it looks. I just put it now to see if how it looks like. It's called the Hydrate Matte. It smells nice. Hydrate Matte Pink Positive. Normally I buy Cherific. But this is the first time I buy this one. Then I bought the new foundation. It's called Sobe Cover and Go. It has vitamin A, C and E. SPF 6 foundation plus concealer so when you open it I did my nails open it inside looks like this when you open the top this is the concealer and here's a bit of a mirror, concealer in the mirror. And then when you open it, this is the foundation. So it's a concealer and a foundation. This was on sale, it was 140. Normally it's 280. And then I bought this. It's um it's a perfume. It smelled nice through the thing. I wanted to try it. I've been wanting perfume, but I perfumes are so expensive. smells nice I like this one okay this is how it looks this was 50 bucks it smells so nice this smells like wow this smells like a perfume that my mentor bought for me for Christmas this was a long time ago this was 2000 and Yo, and she passed away so now i kind of want this forever so i'm gonna buy a lot of this because yo, it reminds me of her oh my word oh this reminds me of my mentor that passed away i'm so happy okay so that's what i sent okay let me go get ready i'll show you what i'll be wearing I'll show you what my son will be wearing for this party. We kind of wanted to go for the same look with my son, but I'll show you. Fine. For now. This is how I look. I look like a soldier. Soldier. <laughs> When they say siblings are, are gossiping, this is sibling gossip. <laughs> <laughs> are nice the roads are empty well that's not a good thing because which means people are upgrade to church but the roads are empty um yeah we off to church and 
last week I was teaching Sunday school. This week I'm actually doing a children's address. I will tell you what's a children's address when I come back. Okay, let's go to church. Let's go do the children's address. Let's go talk to the kids. Let's go have fun in church. Let the word of God speak to us. <laughs> What I did for children's address. Firstly, let me tell you what is children children's address. Children's address is actually just you standing in front and doing like an object lesson. Well, it's not like an it's not an object lesson, but it's presenting the word of God in a creative way in the church where kids can understand. And this normally happens before they go to their Sunday school classes. Today I will just share with you what I did in the children's address. I asked the kids, I asked them, so do you guys know what this is? They're like, yes, it's a Jews. And I'm like, how do you? Sorry, guys, my video stopped working while I was busy. Anyway, I asked them, they say, pour it in a glass. I poured it in a glass. And then I asked them, so what do I do now? They're like, drink it. And I'm like, what if I take water and I pour it in the juice? I was like, oh, everyone was like, oh, that's yucky. Why would I drink that? That's not ours. You can't do that. It'll taste disgusting and stuff. And I told them that the word of God, if we look at this as the word of God, right, we should take it like it is. But now the Bible warns us that there will come a time where people will want to dilute the word of God to suit their needs, to suit what they want. And I read a scripture in the Bible, and I want to encourage you also that sometimes we're tempted to read the Bible and let it suit our lifestyle instead of us living according to the Word of God. We want the Word of God to live according to our life. Second Timothy chapter 4, and I read verse 3 and 4, and it says, For a time is coming when people will, know, will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them what their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. So I share the scripture that says they, the Bible warns us that there'll come a time when people will not want to drink a, a healthy, which is the word of God. They would not want to take the word of God like it is, but they would want to adjust it to the way they feel. They would want to adjust it to the way they live their lives. And I want to encourage you right now that when you live your life, is it according to the word of God or is it according to your lifestyle? Do you force the Bible to fit or the word of God to fit in your life or do you leave as the word of God and when I was praying I was praying that we should be the doers of the word not just the hearers of the word like the word of God tells us to be it's just an encouragement to you that we're living in the times where uh, there's a whole lot of things happening even some of the Christian songs that are sung I hope that's the right word even some of the Christian songs that we hear they're not theologically right they don't keep to the word of God. So yeah, let's all be careful. A few months I've been encouraged to be like, stick to what you've been taught. Stick to what you've been taught when you were young. Stick to what you've been taught. And I'd like to encourage you also to stick to the word of God and what you've been taught in your Sunday school. That Jesus loves me, this I know. Stick to that. You know, the, the, the simple things of the Bible, the John 3 verse 16. You know, the simple, simple, powerful things that the word of god tells us so yeah it's now 12 24 we will be going to my sister's house it was her birthday yesterday and we're going to yesterday we went to another party i'm sure you saw in the previous clips so today we're just going to see her and we are just going there to be like hey we missed your birthday but we are here to celebrate with you we bought her a gift I wanted to buy her a whole set of uh, a big mug, but I was like, oh, what's the point? She lives with people, you know, so I bought her like um, a whole set of marks. 
So yeah, have a good day. Let's all go to my sister's house. Just like I need to clean this house. And then let's all go to my sister's house. Oh no.